Thank you, Carrie. Next question for uh, Jerry Carlson. Given our budget deficit, what avenues of cost reduction would you explore to bring our budget back into balance and to keep it there? Well, I think number one, uh, we've got to look at uh, our uh, compensation area. So that's about 76% of our, our um, general fund budget. Big factor there is are the uh, retiree costs. Retiree costs for public safety employees, I think, are going to run, uh, rise from something like 21% of the uh, paid salaries. In other words, if salaries are 100%, add on 21%. Uh, in 2010-11, uh, I believe it is, up to 41% by 2015, 2016. And uh, so we need to really take a look at uh, all the issues uh, associated with pensions and with medical costs in particular. Um, and we can, get it, we can get into more detail on that uh, if you'd like to later on. Um, everything, I've said in the council uh, session that everything is on the table. We need to look at our our whole town, town financial structure and see if there are more efficient ways to deliver our town services than we have today. And I think that uh, there's some ideas the Finance Committee is going to be looking at that involve uh, looking at the uh, uh, police department. Um, one of the things that we need to do is, again, engage the community. And just looking at costs on an apples to apples comparison is, is one big factor that we ought to take into account, but there are other factors as well that ought to be considered. Thank you, Jerry. Bill, same question. Given our budget, budget deficit, what avenues of cost reduction would you explore to bring our budget back into balance and to keep it there? Sure. If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. That's how I think we're operating today. You may have noted that the first plank in my three-part platform is financial stability. The first step in doing that is developing a realistic budget and getting a good five-year plan. This needs to include risk contingencies and reserves for capital. It's clear that we have some significant issues. Our expenses are simply too high, and they've been this way since 2008. We need to ad have adequate processes and internal systems to establish accountability, cut waste, and eliminate potential fraud. We also need to address our personnel costs. We need to use more contract and part-time labor and save the benefit costs, which today are about 28% of our total budget and growing. We need to be open to discussions or need to open discussions with our unions on a more equitable sharing of the benefit and pension costs. We need to cut the inflationary spiral of our union contracts. Positions need to have salary bans. And they need, we need to understand that sometimes an employee needs to find his next promotion outside the city as opposed to inside the town. We cannot implement new, if we cannot implement new better plans immediately, we should propose a two-tier system with current employees on the current one and new employees on the less costly one. We need to determine the service levels that where we're at, benchmark ourselves against others and where there is a gap, we need to adjust where possible and consider cost-saving opportunities such as consolidation of services with other cities, contract services, or outsourcing, as has been in my written proposals and my written responses on the web. During my 30 years of corporate experience, I've led similar activities in helping to address the issue, and I am currently helping to address the issue, participating with the Finance Committee now. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Uh, please hold your applause. Uh, Jim, same question. Well, I'm on the Finance Committee, so I'm well aware of the, the situation. Uh, we're spending roughly about a million dollars per year more than we're bringing in, and that means that we're using our fairly meager reserves, which, of course, uh, in a few years won't be there anymore. Um, clearly, as everybody else has said, uh, uh, 76 percent or in that general region of our costs are, for employees and their benefits uh, but we have to uh, we have to renegotiate those however uh, we have contracts with the unions whether we like them or not uh, many of those contracts are going to be up in June and we're working very hard at the moment to determine how we should renegotiate those contracts to reduce cost I think it's very important that we look at everything we are looking at everything uh, 
and we have to also be very careful that uh, we try to do it in such a way that the services to our residents are not going to be too severely impacted. Clearly, um, you know, there will be some impact on residents, and I think we've talked about outsourcing. Uh, one of the things that we're looking at at the moment is outsourcing our maintenance on Holbrook Palmer Park right here. I think these are the kind of things. That, but each one of those has to be looked at. We've looked at outsourcing the police, uh, but, you know, I, when you when you determine that the sheriffs make more money than our policemen and have better benefits, clearly if you're going to have the same number of people there, you're going to be paying even more. And one of the problems with outsourcing the police is that after the first initial contract, you've no control over the expenses from then on. So these things have to be looked at very, very carefully, and we're doing exactly that right now and working very hard at it. Thank you. Kerry, same question. Thank you. Well, we need to start in the council chambers and work our way out from the council chambers. We cannot be using the checkbook as the council chambers easy way to handle lawsuits. It's not easy handling lawsuits. Lawsuits have a huge impact on the town's budget's bottom line. So bottom line, let's start there. Let's engage, let's find out what we're doing wrong. Let's get a town manager in here that we can go out properly, screen, somebody that's going to stay here longer than three years, four years. Let's get somebody that's going to stay here for 10, 20, 30 years and want to be part of this community and lose the turnover that we've been having in our management. So let's get a proper town manager. Let's start governing our department heads. Let's deal with the employee-related issues. We clearly have employee-related issues. When times are good, we were looking the other way. When times are bad, now we're looking at their way. So what we need to do is look, salary cap. If we have a training ground for some employees, so be it. Let's look at each department and analyze when, in fact, we can do outsourcing and if outsourcing is an appropriate measure for this community. It's not a standard rule but we can consider some issues to be outsourced. So, bottom line is, we need to tighten our belts. We need to get a better plan for tomorrow because our plan for tomorrow is here today. So let's forecast out farther. Thank you. Thank you.